All right, so let's get a nice chord sheet in Lily Pond. So we've got a title, we've got some fretboards, we've got chord names, we've got a staff. Let's show you how you start assembling this. First, I would say assemble the music, D, G, C, D. That's the amount of information that we want to convey. I just ran the typeset command from the keyboard, which is an alternative to doing it from here, and we see it's drawn the notes D, G, C, and D on a staff. Okay, that was part of what we wanted, but uh, we want to know how to change this into be saying just the names of the chords. Well, we can put new chord names around it, retypeset it, D, G, C, D. We want this to be fretboards, render that as fretboards, okay, we'll, we'll talk more about this later, uh, don't be worried about the, the lack of notes being on there. And uh, we can also just, what we also saw was the staff, the staff is the default, okay. So what we want when you don't uh, put this simultaneously, new fretboards, D, G, C, D, Okay, They're, they don't line up. Put them inside these double angle brackets and get things to line up. All right, so adjusting the spacing is something that you'll get into in advanced steps. So I'm just going to show you how to get this all there. Now, we, I don't like having to repeat the same piece of music twice if it's, if it's the same set of chords. And we still haven't even gotten them to be chords. But just to avoid duplicating that I'm going to give it a name, my riff, and say my riff equals that. So now, in the lower level, I don't have to duplicate. I can just say new fretboards my riff, and we can even shorten this up by. Uh, if we don't have, we we can put these on one line and make it look a little more compact. So there we go. Now I've taken that. So if I change this to an A and retype set, um, it's changed in both places, right? So that's pretty handy for us. So with that, you've seen how to name a variable and invoke it. Uh, the last one we wanted up here was the chord names. So I'm just going to put new chord names, uh, my ref three type set. Alright, so there we go. We have almost everything there, uh, except we don't have these things actually being played as chords, and so therefore, because they're not the right notes, they're, they're barely even showing up in the guitar's range. However, if you prefix with chord names, chord names? Is that the correct context? Chords works. Chord names. I'll, I'm going to go with chord names. And retype set. No. It was not that. Uh, let's see, what's it complaining about? Unknown escape string chord names. So, chord mode was what it's called. It's a mode. And when we indicated that it's in chord mode, then uh, we end up getting this in a second. The cheat is going to say include predefined guitar fretboards. And by having that, it'll choose the normal uh, guitar fretboards there. All right, pond. One last typeset. And voila, we're done. Now a couple of nicenesses that we can add to this, just really briefly, are uh, an author or composer uh, statement. Where does that go? No, author's not it, uh, composer. Now there are reference manuals, I see. I'm not seeing it because there's, there's where the author field is, or composer field. I think there is an author as well. Um, and uh, the staff here, um, the staff that we have, we can use a different key signature. Uh, and it just so happens that in the key of G major, there are no accidentals for this. So there we've moved the accidental into the staff. And uh, just really briefly, you will probably want to change the duration of these notes. And the duration goes like this, one for whole, two for 
uh, half, <laughs> four for a quarter, four for a quarter, re-render re this. You see things are kept in sync, bar lines are drawn, and if you need to borrow time from one note, you can make this a dotted quarter and an eighth, and there you go. So that's how you notate chords for Lily Pond.